Oh gosh, this is so good. I know it to be this good. Oh. What's up everybody? How you guys doing today? Welcome back to my channel. This is New K-Pop for you. And I am super excited because finally the time has come. BTS is back with their first Korean comeback in I don't even know how long. Not only is this their first Korean comeback in a while, but this is going to be me making a full circle back to the very first group that ever got me into BTS, <laughs> got me into uh, K-pop, I should say. And I mean, it was BTS and Monster X, but BTS was like the first group that really sold me on K-pop, um, and like really just like dove me into this wonderful world that I'm now in and embracing. And I'm super excited because even though I'm a pretty dang big fan of BTS and I've known them since like 2014 or so or something like that, um, if not maybe a little bit later, I don't know. Anyways, regardless, I finally get to do a BTS comeback on my channel and it's so awesome because like I said, this is just, it, it's like this world now that I'm part of is all coming in full circle now because I get to finally react to the, the group that got me involved in this wonderful world of K-pop that I'm a part of now. And I feel like I'll, I'll hope to be a part of it for the rest of my life because I love it so much. So this is really exciting for me and I'm super excited to do this first reaction for a BTS comeback. So with that being said, this title track is called Yet to Come in parentheses, The Most Beautiful Moment. So it sounds like it's going to be a very sappy song. And it's going to probably make all of us, you know, BTS fans cry. Um, I'm sorry, I don't remember what the fandom's name is called. I'm so mad because I used to remember, and oh, ARMY, there we go, duh, I'm so dumb. <laughs> of course, it's called ARMY, duh. So anyways, I think it's going to make us ARMY people really, really, uh, you know, very sad and maybe emotional, because I know this is part of their new album, but the album is actually more of like a compilation of like everything they've done so far, so it's almost like a memoriam kind of album. So um, yeah, with that being said, without further ado, BTS, what you guys got for us? Let's do this. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm so excited, guys, you have no idea. <laughs> All right, let's do this. Uh, of course, gotta have that big hit music logo come in first. Nice. I love the street sound effects. That's always cool. Oh, that's that's an ocean. What am I talking about? There they are. What's up, boys? I only know a couple of their names. I know Suga, and I know, I think, V. Is that what his name is? Was it honestly the best? Cause I just wanna see the list. Oh, this is cool. Oh, it's, it's in Korean. Or that. I switched to English. Oh, probably so when I redo it. There we go. Now we're good. <laughs> yeah. This is cool. It is. Yeah. This is cool. Alright. I'm gonna pause for a second. This is really cool. Just looking at those like few words there, it sounds to me this song is very, very you know, almost like a memoriam to them and their journey so far. You know, they're talking about like, you know, oh, we just really loved music, you know, and now we're just still just like going on this journey. So it's like, you know, it sounds to me like it's just a group of guys that just all loved music and they just, that's why they keep going. Like, I mean, like I said, these guys have been around since like, what, 2013, 14? And it's like, you know, they're, you know, what, seven, eight, nine years strong now and they're still doing this because they love it so much. And like, not to mention, they're like the biggest guy group in the entire history of K-pop now, it seems like. Um, debatable on, you know, who you ask in terms of fandoms. But still, I mean, in my opinion, I think they're basically one of the biggest fandoms. So this is a really cool song to them basically be able to just talk to us about, like, their journey and how it's just how it's made them feel. And it's just, I think it's going to be really a good nostalgia feeling for all of us Army too. So, oh, let's just keep going. I'll go back one. Yes, we just love the music. We're just running forward. Er, yeah. Yes. Mm. 
Oh, I got chills in my head. That was crazy. It's still there. Yes. Is that sugar or sugar or sugar? How do you say his name? No, it's not. That's not behind him. I think that's a V in the platinum hair, if I remember correctly. Come. Oh. No. Is that sugar? I think it is. You guys let me know in the comments. <laughs> Oh gosh, this is so good. I know it could be this good. Oh. oh, you guys have no idea how much I miss this. Oh, they're so good. It's not even funny how good they are. <laughs> hey, Scuba. Yeah, we are. Let's go. Two. Come. Yeah. I love it. I feel so like motivated. I feel like so like ah. Oh. <laughs> yeah, it was. So the morning, that's cool. Like morning. Yes. Is it already done? Really? Okay, I was gonna say. I know it's like a four minute video. Oh, that's cool. I didn't know he had their logo tattooed on his hand. That's awesome. Oh, guys, I have so many chills. It's unreal. <sighs> wow. That was so cool. Oh my gosh, I actually feel emotional. Like I almost, I um, I feel like tears in my eyes. Like you might be able to see. Yeah, my tears are a little bit. Oh my gosh, my eyes are a little bit watery. Oh my gosh, I was like so emotional. Why? This is so weird. I, I guess it's because this is just like a full circle for me to like come back to this because like this is where I started my journey. Come talk to you guys. <clears throat> this is like where I started my journey. And it's like so crazy to like see this, and like I mean, you guys have been like, it's like it's like I discovered K-pop by accident, and it's like I just was watching like one of my favorite reaction channels back in the day, and they were like talking about K-pop, and I always knew about K-pop. I always knew like groups like Twice existed. I'd heard of Girls Generation and stuff like that just from like word of mouth. And whatnot, and I was always like, I just never really dove into it. I just never really had an interest. But then, like, you know, I heard these guys like in the reaction video, and it's just the awesome rapping and their beautiful voices like and blending together so well. And like the production was so good too. It was like, you know, like their older stuff was like very hip hoppy, and like I loved that. You know, that was like what my like so I was into at that time period, and also the EDM stuff. And so like. I heard that, and then I heard more of the EDM stuff with, like, Monster X also, and, you know, I, I was like, these guys are awesome, and I never, I just basically, like, start off with them, and then kind of, like, 
didn't really really appeal to the scene besides these guys keeping up with them up until like 2020 basically like i said when blackpink came around in my life and once blackpink happened it was like everything from there just skyrocketed i've been like i i feel like i've been on this journey for like forever like my entire life but yet i've really only truly been keeping up with comebacks joining fandoms getting to know members and their stories and stuff like that watching k-dramas and shows about the idols and I, uh, you know variety shows and whatnot i've only been doing that for you know about a year and a half now i mean it'll be two years since i started this journey around like october so when blackpink had their comeback last um in 2020 so this is just crazy like oh my gosh i i, I didn't think i was gonna get emotional reacting to this but i did oh my goodness i'm wow <laughs> This is ridiculous, guys. I can't believe this is, this is, oh my gosh. Okay. Well, that was my reaction to BTS's first Korean comeback in a while called Yet to Come in parentheses and most beautiful moment. Like I said, that was basically just a beautiful, beautiful, like, song just about them basically looking back on their lives, what they've been on this journey, and basically promising us that even more better stuff is coming. And that's what makes me so happy. Because, like I said, like, I, I mean, I loved all their English comebacks they did there for a while, but I really missed the Korean comebacks because the Korean comebacks always hit differently for me. So, um, yeah. Oh my gosh. So, yeah, I've decided that because, um, you know, I didn't really get a chance to really dive into BTS when they were like first debuting and when they were around, um, I wanted to, you know, you know, kind of dive into them now. So I want to give you guys the opportunity to, you know, even though I know a good amount of their songs from back in like the early days, if there's anything at all from back in the early days till now that you want me to react to, let me know in the comments down below. And also, I have not officially announced this yet, but my Patreon's coming today. So um, as part of my Patreon, I'm going to actually start um, BTS's um, little like V Live, uh, I guess like uh, um, series they did. It was called um, Run BTS, I believe is what it's called. I'm gonna start doing that on my uh, Patreon too. So my goal is that at the point of this launching, hopefully you guys will be able to see um, the first two episodes of that. And then my goal is to do at least one or two episodes every week till I, I mean, there's so many episodes. I don't know if I'll ever get through it all. And eventually I hope I will, cause there's like 150 episodes. But besides that, you know, the idea is just to do, you know, an episode every week or whatnot and then also if you guys want me to do bts reactions to anything at all even something i watched back in like seven years ago in 2014 or whatever you know i'll still do it just because it's been a while and it'll be a good nostalgia reaction so um yeah so let me know in the comments down below guys what you want me to react to in terms of bts because i i want to get back into them again and i'm hoping that we can just embark on a great journey together in bts as the world so um, besides that, like, subscribe. Let me know what you guys want me to react to outside of anything BTS. If there's any comebacks I might have missed, let me know. Besides that, you guys are amazing. I love you guys. And as always, bye! <laughs>